Ladies and gentlemen, boys and... Why do they keep giving me Fallen Shinobi? It's like they know I'm going to take it. So they're like, we're just going to keep giving this to you. And you're going to keep finding ways to... To sneak it out. Damp Mardu or Riot. Wow, so no green, huh? Okay. I think I just want to take Zealous Conscripts. I mean, I just don't want to fall in Shinobi three times in a row. Even though, God, I would. I totally would. I do it for you guys. I think it's Zealous Conscripts. I think it's probably the strongest card in this pack. School has an awesome canvas and generally city is nice. I'm so glad to hear it, buddy. <clears throat> what are your what's your living arrangement? Where are you where are you staying? What's your housing like? Tell me about your life. Thank you. Dark Steel Spork, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. <clears throat> Have my own room, bathroom, we share a common space? Man. Having your own bathroom in 2019. What a time to be alive. See, when you take this guy, you just want to hope for the, the Riftwing Cloud Skates and the, the Splinter Twins. There's no Splinter Twin, right? It's just going to be a Kiki Jiki. Con shits, know what I'm saying? I don't. Can you... JT, is it possible that you could um, elaborate further? Riftwing, is we just take the Gonti? I kind of like Gonti here, and we can just be like black red. We could also take this on barrel rights, and we could be Mardu. Hmm. No one does know what he's saying. God, I think he's. I'm going to unbarrel rights. We haven't picked unbarrel rights yet. I don't think it's the most powerful card in that pack. For sure. But this pack's interesting. Do we take the Gideon and hope this Sarkon comes back and then we just have five drops dot deck? Giver of Runes is interesting. Hypnotic Spectre is meh. Lava Claw Reaches is nice for the for the fixeriskies. Gideon is a strong permanent. <coughs> This is a strong a strong wind condition. What's going on with his head there? Do you see that? What is this right here? I don't think that's on the actual card. It looks like this is a it looks like this one's not near mint. What's happening here? <clears throat> it looks like this is the little part of the head that that goes above the border. And so they slid it on. They like slid this part over the other part. <clears throat> But it didn't match up perfectly. Alright. Three five drops of different colors. That's where we're at right now. That's that's the kind of day we're having. Let's Sacred Foundry. That's so much better than like anything else in this pack on color. <coughs> Once again, I'm typing what you're saying as you're saying. Yeah, it looks like it looks like it's a Photoshop job. Like they did a they did a cut. And then they had to they had to put it on top of the other Gideon, but they just didn't they didn't line it up perfectly. <clears throat> and now I want to look for it on other planeswalkers to see if that's happened to them as well. Red cap? There's a lot of good Mardu cards in this pack. Like literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight out of eleven Mardu cards, so something will definitely come back, I'm sure. I might just take the land. If we're three colors, I want to make sure our mana's good. <clears throat> and I'm not like super soul on five drop. These guys are all okay. I think we're just taking the Neil Spires. I want to. I kind of want to have all the Planeswalkers that we can get. Duplicant. And this pack is is pretty bad. We got Char Arclight Phoenix is kind of mad. I don't think we're ever getting this guy back. We are. We're drafting five drop Tribal. Or try. Still have to respond to your email. I'll respond to that tonight. That's what I'm saying to you. <clears throat> God, I'm just a big Duplicant fan, guys. I can also see Hanger Back Walker. I took the Hanger Back Walker because, <clears throat> literally, because the colors we're in, we have things like Dreadbore and Oblivion Ring. Empyrean, thank you so much for the resub, or the, the sub. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I think it's just Oblivion Ring here. 
although Oblivion Ring does give us this awkward situation where you can like bounce it or destroy it or get rid of it in some way. This is just a zoom up of this. So I kind of like Dreadbore here. Black Cleave Cliffs, eh? Okay, I'll Black Cleave Cliffs. Lingering Souls? Oh, yes. We're doing it. I've got eight minutes before I've got to duck out for my next meeting. Let's make them a good eight minutes. <laughs> Guys, make these the best eight minutes that Josh can get in his whole day. <clears throat> oh, Pia and Kieran Alar come back. All right, we're in it. These are looking good so far. I'm okay with this deck. Lava Claw Reaches came back. That's pretty spicy. Oh my god, nothing. I'm working from home. Wow. Wow. He's got the ween blasting, guys. <clears throat> Uranium fever is gone and got me down. Ooh. Look at all these. I wish this wasn't non-token because we're living, we're living the high life here. I still think it's better than Tide Hollow Scholar. Tide Hollow Scholar is like a, I don't know. I'm not thrilled about Tide Hollow Scholar. Scholar, 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 Scholar. Both of these are fine, I guess. We'll just take the Arc Light Phoenix. I don't think we're gonna play it, but we'll see. Thank you. Oh, Reggie. Reginald. Chicken Run Official, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate you. You are awesome. <clears throat> I feel like Sculler does always die. That's my... Yeah, I'm like, you're just a 2-2. Two -two. Come on. That's a bullshit... I'm mad. I passed Jace the Mind Sculptor. Oh man, that's so sad. We really can't. Like, if we cut the white, we're losing Gideon, Lingering Souls, Glory Bound, which is fine. But, like, two of our lands are also. Like, we get. Ugh. God, why? Why? It's just Lightning Helix, man. Hour's gonna be rough because we have a bunch of tokens and I want to have a bunch of Planeswalkers. Hey, it's basically a Jace, right? Somebody's getting past the Look, two of the, two of the terrible lands in the same pack. Yeah, Karn's good. I wanted to have like a, a Mardu Planeswalker deck, but I only have one Planeswalker so far. <clears throat> Rotting Regisaur is decent with like Unbarrel Rights, Lingering Souls, and Arc Light Phoenix. Maybe it's playable. It is hard to deal with. I like Karn a lot here. Aurelia seems very strong. So this Sublime Archangel though. Sublime Archangel with all these tokens seems pretty bonkers. I'm going to take the Sublime Archangel. Make sure I'm not missing anything vital.
Something's happening out there. <clears throat> Alpha Wolf, what's going on? Dane, what's going on? Everybody, what's going on? Cryptbreaker is a cute little engine. That's also a zombie. These are both zombies. Anguish they're making is solid removal. Hmm. I do wish I had some planeswalkers. I think it's just anguish and making here. We got a lot of creatures. Massacre worm. Also, Iron Mesa is super, super nice. Hmm. <laughs> oh, you guys in chat, we're having a good time. <clears throat> I kind of just like Iron Mesa here. Mask Room is super nice. Oh, Marsh Flats too. Hmm. Fascinating. Actually, I have bad news. A new local game store opened in my town and the name is The Side Deck. I think they... Oh, Jesus. I mean, they're probably just trying to compete with the main board across town, you know? <clears throat> I'll take Brimaz. Isolated Chapel. I love an Isolated Chapel. Do I like it more than a Rakdos Signet? Probably not with this expensive ass deck. <clears throat> Josh, enjoy your meeting, buddy. Try not to try to make the best of it. Look, the Jace didn't come back, guys. Collect the Retaliator Declaration Stone. Hmm. I think Deck and Stone. Ooh, I'm gonna take the Cast Out here. Cast Out's great. And we don't actually have a Cast Out like effect. Uh, we don't have like an Oblivion Ring or a Journey to Nowhere or anything, so. Still only two Planeswalkers in our Planeswalker deck. <clears throat> I gotta meet with these Ruffles Ridges. <laughs> you got your French onion dip, buddy? That's what Ridges are for. Oh, the Aurelia came back? Maybe I just wanted to rest here. I'm gonna take this Arc Light Phoenix out and we're gonna play Aurelia. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, Collective Defiance. I like that our sideboard is two red cards and six lands. Ooh, Timely's nice. I do have French Onion Dip. Ooh, Chandra. Ooh, and a Godless and a Blood Crypt in the same pack. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Ideally, one of these comes back. We're taking this Chandra for sure. <laughs> Focus on the French onion dip. I'll never do that. You'll get my plus 10 and you'll like it, buddy. Ooh, Baneslayer. Also, Eugene. I think Eugene might be too expensive for us. I think our deck looks sweet so far. I'm going to take Bane Slayer because I think she's just absolutely bonkers. We already have a ton of removal. Bane Slayer is a card that's like, it's so boring, but like, sometimes you just can't beat it.
Oh man, Worm Coil, Nahiri, Siege Gang. I think I like the Worm Coil better. Like, it's a nice top end, and we don't really have anything great to, like, use Nahiri's ultimate with. What up, Ben? <clears throat> I think I'm just a Worm Coil engine fan. Hmm. Hmm. Monastery Mentor? I don't know. You gonna make it out this time? What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. To Hajulashi's cube? I don't think so. Mindstone? Monster Mentor? I don't even know, dude. This pack is rough. I'm just gonna Mindstone it. I have no idea what the pick was there, I'll be honest with you guys. My battery backup is doing a weird, loud, whirring thing again, like all the fans just came on at once, and it's really, uh, it's unsettling, I'll be honest. It's just Kai's Guile. Sunlands is also fine. <clears throat> I'll just take Sunlands. This Thalia is just so infuriating. I'm going to take this Thalia and play it against people like the way they played against me. We'll see how they like it. Orzhov Signet. Wow. The rich get richer. Let's take an Orzhov Signet. Double Signets. Uh, I've had the Universal Power Supply less than less than three years for sure. But it's an expensive one. Like it's like a two hundred plus dollar one. Like a friend of mine actually um gave me new because his company made them conclave tribunal legion war boss team is great we already have cast out yeah we'll just take legion war boss we got a lot of trimming to do here we got a lot of tokens here lingering souls p and karen lr legion war boss Godless Shrine. That's what we're looking for. Yes. Now we have uh, Godless Shrine and Sacred Foundry to, to find with these guys, which is super nice. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, Blade Splicer. Hmm. Let's take Anger. Like, we just don't need a Blade Splicer in this deck. <clears throat> Spear could be nice with all the tokens. Sweltering Suns, for sure. Kaya's Guile came back. Pia came back. Alright, so... Wow, Glorious Anthem too? That's just the worst spear, right? I mean, it's not strictly worse, keep in mind, because if you have a Shatter, you can kill a spear and not a Glorious Anthem, but... Mediocre Magic Man, how do you change the battery? Like, who should I go to do that? Alright, let's see what we got here. We need to make some cuts. I'm going to take Registar out. I'm just not committed to that Registar. Take Mindstone out, although we have two Signets. You can do it yourself? I'm pretty sure I read the, like... I read the instructions online, and it was like, don't do this yourself. 
I was like, okay. I don't even know where- I don't think we're in Umbrella Rights deck even now. We just took this Umbrella Rights, like, second pick, and it's like, well, I'm not even playing this thing. Our black isn't even that good, comically. Like, we could just take out these three cards and, like, we're not even black anymore. Could have taken that Jace after all. <clears throat> the problem is, like, our fixing is just fine, so, again, it's a situation where, like, we lose nothing by playing these. Hmm. I'm gonna find. Hold on a second. Let me see. Close that. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can link you guys to what it is. I'm pretty sure it's this. Yeah, this is pretty close to the one I have. Alright, so, let me just put these back in, like, we're not not playing black here. Or are we? I don't even know. It's 13 creatures, but we also have Lingering Souls. We have Gideon. I mean, we can replace Midnight Reaper with PNLR. And then toss in like a... Toss in like a Spear or Glorious Anthem, right? That seems pretty good. Let me take out Dreadmore Anguish I'm making. We still have to make one cut, two cuts if we do want to add the... Let's take a Rakdos Signet, I guess. I don't know. A lot of lifelink in our deck too. Take out the anguish done making. We'll bring in spear. Like I think we're like we can just we can just easily cut the black right. Is dreadboard fine? Like do we just keep the dreadboard in? Anguish done making almost seems better than dreadboard. All right, well, this is fine. 
Definitely not playing Black Cleave Clips because I hate those lands anyway. So we have Arid Mesa, Godless Shrine, Marshlands, and Lava Claw Reaches. We have four sources of black for like one black card. Tots or Fries? Probably Tots, I think. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 11, 9. I think that's fine. Oh, we get one more. Just add another red. All right, let's see how this. I don't know what's. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening right now. Oh, Dane with the Patreon support. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Existential Dread or Imminent Thank Threat? You. Probably Existential Dread. Like, it's less real. Super Fritz, really, really appreciate the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Every day is Chicken Sunday. Curve's looking good here. Don't kill my boy. Oh, guess they're gonna censor this. Of course they are. <sighs> hmm, isn't that special? I was like, this is where they play just the Mind Sculptor, right? This guy. Jesus Christ. This feels like yesterday all over again, guys. Teeth or toes? I think it depends on what we're doing with those. Yeah, caution, no service parts, bricks or electrical, do not remove cover, no use your service parts inside. Yeah, that's a literally what I was, that was literally my experience when I was reading the manual. Dane, really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what this could be. I mean, let's not hope the man. Let's hope they don't mana leak. I guess they did not have mana leak. I'll take two because I assume you have. Char. Count the headlights on the highway. Sure. 
Sure. Black source. That is not a black source. <laughs> God, it's so loud, dude. It's so fucking loud right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it at all, but it's like this low hum. And the lights flicker. It's like, really, it's actually... Kind of troublesome. Shut up and take my money. Six OCD bugs. <laughs> oh, man. I'm wondering if there's any zealous one, two, three, four, five. Like, I wonder if there's any. Yes, it's in a well-ventilated place. There's no dog or pet here. It's not. It's not something that's happened recently. Like, it's or it's not something that's been always doing it. It's just happened recently, and uh, it's after uh, we realized that the grounding in my the like the, the outlet of my wall was not grounded. So. So it's either like Iron Shaman or Stratus Dancer, right? I don't know which one's in the cube. I will take four. See, and then like the light flickers, and then I don't know if you can see that. And then, it, then it's off now. Like now it's not making the noise. That worked out well. And now I have the silence. One, two, three, four. Can they just block, block? Yeah, I guess. I mean, like, I'm not going to not attack with a worm coil because of that. If they want to spend three more minutes to return this and then replay it, like, totally fine. Bane Slayer. Yep, that guy's pretty good. What? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Now I just get to steal this? That was a weird choice. Shut up and take my money. Jojo MK, stone them to death, the stiff draft. Must take all the man lands, lands that turn into creatures. I know what a man, I know what a creature land is. Dang it, now it's gone. I gotta open up the thing. Hold on. Oh my god, you're awesome. Are they just dead? Are they just like, I'm not even gonna block? 
<laughs> it was a Stratus Dancer. Good to know. Oh, this is the wrong thing. Hold on. I'm doing the wrong thing over here. Give me one second. I gotta finish reading this thing. Hold on. Close this for a second. Open you. Oh, no. I'm, I'm always doing it wrong. Hold on. You guys are... Bear with me for one second. Just give me one second, guys. I can just open this. That's all I have to do. Okay, cool. Okay, so these are your blocks. So you go to... Yep, you're dead. Okay. Okay, let's see what that was. Um, And try to use them to kill your opponents. Everything else is fair game. Okay, wow, that's pretty... That's pretty doable. Okay, sweet. Judge MK, thank you so much. I, I love your consistent stipulation support. I just insta-submitted. You know, they even censored us twice, so I don't even feel bad about stealing their guy and bashing him over the face with it. I'm going to close this for more time. And open this guy. Thank you. Bring you over. Dr. Funkburger MD, welcome back. We've had two stream children's together and still no child support from you. Well, this is awkward. Oh, this hand is not good. I will mulligan. I will keep. And we'll send back one of these lands. Probably this plane's done. But Papa Franco, you have two four drops. Why would you why would you send a land back? It'll never come back. Thing in the ice. Thing in the ice. Do -do 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 -do, thing in the ice. This guy. You can counter this? You can counter my Spear of Helion? Wow. Every time, huh? <laughs> no need to be awkward. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you serious? Cynical. Glad to hear it, buddy. That thing was, uh, yeah, that combo is pretty sweet. I have one card in hand. That actually makes me feel pretty good, and they're going to play it right now. Stratus Dancer. Young Pyromancer, no other cards. Okay, sounds good. Do we just Sublime Archangel here and then just start bashing? Or do we actually just start getting cards? I think we want to get cards with Karn because I do want to actually... Um... What was the other option? Worm Coil? Okay, we'll just play that next turn. Kill. 
this guy. Karn will go to four, then he'll go to three. We'll play Warm Coil. We'll have no cards in hand. Sounds good. Okie dokie. <laughs> Make a Lime Archangel and give it double flying. Yeah. And if you have a Lemon in play, if you have Lemon Archangel in play, it just gets even better. Hanger back or cast down? You're probably going to give me the Hanger back, right? Yeah. One card in hand, huh? Yeah, I just didn't feel like dealing with that guy flipping and like resetting our board. I'll give you a clue for that. Plus Sublime Archangel is 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 5, plus 5 next turn. That's pretty bonkers. Dan's, what's going on? Oh my god, this Danzy mode is amazing. Oh my god, I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, give me a land. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> That's a big ass worm coil. It's only twelve twelve guys. Love me some tater tots. <laughs> Dan, did you put some last dab on your tater tots? Because that seems like a solid strategy. Just dip those dudes in it. It's like barbecue sauce. Why not attack 7-7 seven, seven with flyer? What? Oh, this guy? Because the life gain for 12. I mean, I don't know. And we have 9 mana next turn. We can shoot them with 3 different things. Yeah, last dab's like 20 bucks. But I mean, it's like... It's basically a gourmet hot sauce. It's from a TV show. It's a small batch hot sauce. Like, It's not mass produced, really. Well, they have two cards in hand, and we have a ridiculous board. Like, every time they go Sensor, Snapcaster, Sensor, I feel so bad, but then we still, like, just acts absolutely dominate. Oh my god, Dan's, don't buy it on Amazon. Buy it on Heatonist.
Yeah, there you go. Kerwin knows what's up. Never buy, never buy hot sauces on Amazon, unless they're like close to the same price. Most hot sauces are either between ten and twenty bucks. I mean, if they got a, if they got like Cyclonic Rift, I could see it. Oh my God! Don't buy it on Amazon. Wins first world quote of the day. Is it? Does it really? Well, Fight with Fire is pretty good, I guess. I mean... Hmm. One, two, three, four... Yeah, they're just dead here, right? Let's do some cool stuff. One, two, three, four, cast out... This guy... Okay, and then we're going to Needle Spires and attack for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it has Exalted for 8. So then we just attack you for 20. That seems good. The bomb is actual battery acid. That's what me and Mike compare it to, yes. We need to get sponsored by Enus. That would be sick. You should email and be like, hey, I'm Dan's Computer Magic. I never understood the point of hot sauce for the pain. I just eat something, then jam the fork straight into my hand. Only way to prove your <laughs> Hot sauce? Buddy, I'm holding a fork. But the fork doesn't also taste good. You know what I mean? Like, the hot sauce actually tastes good. Frozen bananas and pudding. It's been a shitty week. Thanks for those laughs and good times. I appreciate it. Not sure why Twitch cut the message off the first... Oh. Did it? Are those laughs and good times? Yeah, I was like, "Is anybody pie?" I have no idea what you're saying, buddy. I'm glad you. I'm glad it helped. I'm glad it helped, man. That was a that I enjoyed recording that episode. That was pretty funny. I'm glad you guys seem to be enjoying Friends. I think me and Andrew are having a really good time with it, so. Your brain releases endorphins and dopamine from hot sauce. Cap capsaicinoids produce substance P, which transmits pain signals. The brain responds by releasing another type of neurotransmitter known as endorphins. Dan's just wants, wants to get high, that's all. Tireless tractor. Do, 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 do. I think I offer the trade here. If they didn't want to take it, they're like, no way, man. I'm too good for that. Nah, you're dead. Oh, 
Uh oh, Sultai. Prophet of Krufi. That's something right there. Oh boy. Here we go. Dan's, I was thinking about the, the episode where you guest star on it, and we can call it Franz with Dan's. And I was like, that's a that's a clever name. We have five mana. Cracking that. Alright. Sure. Everything's happening. No blocks. Oh my god, friends with a Z is fantastic. That's hilarious. I'm gonna attack with this guy. If you want to block with the Prophet, that's totally fine. They have one card in hand. How bad could it possibly be? Oh, wow. Are they going to flip here? Wow. That was an interesting trade. So they have one card in hand? Two cards? And we have like a billion beautiful... Okay, they have no cards in hand. That's probably a den protector. Give me a land. That's not, that's not a land. It's just another four drop. Okay, well. Thank you. Dr. Funkberger with the gifted subs. You are awesome, dude. Thank you so much, man. Maybe not Den Protector, because I feel like if it was a Den Protector, they would have gotten Tireless Tracker back before they searched for tomorrow. Thank... That's that's a great draw. Uh, that creature gets plus two, plus two. If it's red, it gains Vigilance if it's white. Alright, so we're just going to actually play... This thing is actually crushing it. I, I have, we don't even need to board anything in. Maybe Sunlance. Sunlance actually seems pretty good. <laughs> Dan's, what are you doing right now? I'm super curious as to what Dan's does during the day when she's just like hanging out with my stream on. I think Anguished on making out. I don't know. And now we have no black cards in the deck. My 40 minutes, 3-0 in this queue was from black-white deck. It hit the ground running and had a number of answers. I feel like the black and white creatures are actually just really strong in this format. I've lost to a couple black-white decks where they just land a Thalia on turn 3 and I just can't deal with it. I'm taking a half day today until my boss off to lunch. Gonna try the Impossible Burger. Zimini Pot, enjoy the Impossible Burger, buddy. And uh, enjoy enjoy your half day. I, I'll never tell. 
Thank you. Oh, Dr. Funkburger cannot resist gifting more subs. You are awesome, dude. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much, buddy. All right, so we're just going to go Orzlov, Signet, Arid Mesa. I just want to thin the deck here, really. I'm editing a tune to send to a mixer, but taking a break, learning some MTG. Wow. Are you, Dan, are you actually, are you actually learning of things? Like, by just watching these matches, are you actually learning stuff? I can't, because I don't know, I don't know if it's, like, too, like, cube is actually super complicated. Because there's just so many cards from so many different points in Magic's history with so many different abilities. Oh, they didn't attack. Fascinating. Let's crack this, and we'll just get a... We'll get a mountain. Okay. I'm down. I'm down to clown. Hmm. Josh, welcome back. Wow, snub by both Frank and Dan's. What what did you say? Oh, greetings, LaFuff. Greetings. Okay. Um, there's a lot of options here. Like we could take care of their entire board, but they have four cards in hand, which makes me reluctant to do so. I kind of just want to cast that on the Xenagos, I'll be honest. We could have actually, they couldn't have actually activated this because it cost one more. That's interesting. I, I think Elk Tears is worried I'm going to be really good and it's going to take over my life. That's hilarious. I don't know why he'd worry about that. Golos. Fascinating. Oh, gain that life back. Legion War Boss. Hmm. I mean, we could just play Worm Coil Engine here, or we can go Legion War Boss, Deck and Stone, Sun Lance. We'll have to cast some meatball archangels. <laughs> Super friends. Have a good afternoon, buddy. I'll see you later, I'm sure. If they just have a black source, they can start golosing. That seems pretty bad. I ain't afraid of no golos. Carnage Tyrant, huh? Okay. I mean, it's something to attack with everybody, right? Like, they're going to block here or here. Probably here. I think six.
This is a real battle of six drops here. I wonder what the odds are that the draft my LGS will fire tonight. Well, if it's anything like LGS's uh, that I've been to, it's it's close to zero. Drafts never fire. <laughs> but I feel like we're just way ahead here, and I don't actually. If you block here, you take six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's pretty okay. Plow under. Sure. I mean, that's just fine. So they have two blockers, so they can block here and here, and then they die to lightning helix, presumably. I guess they're gaining a bunch of life here. Oh, they can't actually crew because this costs one more, right? Spells your opponents cast. Abilities your opponents activate cost one more. Um, so they can't actually crew both of these. So I'm going to Lightning Helix this guy. Well, then they block here and then they don't die. So I guess we'll let them block, right? They're going to go block, block, and then they're dead. Yeah, okay. Really? Oh boy, this deck is unbeatable, guys. Unbeatable. Ninety-seven thousand more tickets to win. How much does it cost? You're like, it costs a hundred thousand. We are currently 4 0. I'll deal with it. 100,000? Okay, so you basically earned 3,000. 3% of the PS4 cost. This might be a real cycle cast out situation here. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely gonna try to hit land because we can't do anything if we don't. Nope. We did it.
Oh, no plays. All right, I like it. I like it. So we can PN here in LR. We can bring back Lingering Souls and cast Deck and Stone. And if we hit a land, we can play these. This is actually a good position to be in. Sower of Temptazione. I mean, if we're trading a Sower for half a Spirit Token, I'm pretty okay with it. Um, so the thing is, if we draw another land, we can play Lingering Souls and P and Karen Alar on the same turn. I kind of just want to play one of these two. Two Golos decks back to back? Golos is a beating. If they can play a planes, they're gonna they're gonna Golos us. Oh, the first time we draw this Shonda. I feel like we're in good shape here. <laughs> they have five cards, but... Wow, one, two, three, four. They, they didn't even draw a card with a clue? I mean, we have eight power and flyers and a Gideon Jura. I guess that understands. I guess I, I guess I guess that I guess I understand why. Yeah, we're just submitting. I mean our deck seems solid. Oh, uh, this is a definite keeper. It's your boy. I think this is going to be a clean sweep. If you guys haven't done so, definitely check out patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. Um, if you guys have not subscribed to Twitch and you want to support the channel in other ways, that's definitely a great way to do it. Like, if you don't have $5 to spend on a Twitch subscription, or if you're on YouTube and you just don't care to go to Twitch, like, you can definitely check out patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. And for, like, $1 or $2 a month, it's a great way to support the channel. So if you're looking for a way to do that, you can be like, I'm going to throw Frank $1 or $2 a month, which is, like, nothing. And that's a great way to uh, to help me out if you guys are looking for a way to support. No green sources. Fascinating. Okay, well, never mind. They didn't get a green source. I don't know what's happening right now. Well, I'm not attacking into this guy, that's for sure. Then they flipped their their Liliana. Well, this is obnoxious. Also, my UPS just kicked on again, in case you guys hear it. Thank you. 
Mark, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. So I don't forget again. Nice. 13 months, man. I appreciate you. Is that the new UP? I didn't get a new one. Oh, uh, the black is for like one anguish done making. try to get a video of it next time it does that. Oh, they just stole my guy, huh? Well, not blocking there. We are going to deck and stone that sower, though. One, two, three, four, five. Sure, that seems fine. I kind of just want to kill the, the Liliana here, to be quite honest. But then we get to eat something if we just make them attack. So let's do that. Really frustrating. Six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We can deal fifteen damage here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hmm. Dr. Funkberger, thank you so much for the support, buddy. Really appreciate it. So we're gonna go one, two, three, activate, pump. Do we play land this turn? Yes, we put a mountain. Wow, that Zell's Conscript was very, very good. Yep. So 
severe storm damage? I mean, that was like two years ago. <laughs> yeah, everything's fine. All right, that's uh, we're at seven. We have a worm coil, they have fudge McMudge. Jesus, that might turn this whole game around. Your move. I mean, Sheldock Isle could have something good under it, but they can't crack. Oh, now they can crack it. They can blood. They literally drove Bloodstained Mire, which lets them thin their library to 20 to crack Sheldock Isle, so. <laughs> I'm going to go. Work on tunes a bit, but maybe I'll come back later. Bye for now. Here's the rest of it. <laughs> Dan's, you are awesome. I love you, buddy. Oh, that's a great top deck because now, like, if they try to do some shenanigans, we can just stop it. I think we're at a point where we can just attack with this Thopter as well. Good deal. Back at 24. Seems good. Mm -hmm. Prime Speaker Vanifar. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like you convoking into five and six drops, drawing an extra card here. Thank you. No bueno. Two weeks. Thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I feel like this game just got a lot more fair. All right, so they have no no cards in hand. I like it. Hissing Quagmire is obnoxious against our, our worm coil, but. So your comment on your last video about your subscription was right. You're predicting this would happen after they announced it. Yeah, I did. I mean, like. There's just too many cooks in the kitchen. Like, I don't know. What can you do? So take my sub. I will. I'll take it. Yeah, I think they're just like, well, we can hissing quagmire next turn. Yeah, this is just a better block. But we do get another 6 life, so we're getting 11. We're going to 35 here. That's pretty bron bronkers. What did you predict? I predicted that when uh, the MPL started that uh, a lot of the regular streamers like myself uh, who don't have the same... I mean, I have, a great, I have a great resume, but my pedigree is not the same as like Ben Stark or Seth Manfield. Um, a lot of those people like myself, would lose a lot of... Fucking Christ, come on. Would lose a lot of... Uh, I don't know, sub not subscribers necessarily, but it would be harder to keep up with those. Wow. Like, ultimate price into shield road. Like, okay, I guess. Yeah, they get back hostage taker. This is fucking stupid. That's insane.
Yeah, Caleb has a ton of viewers. That is true. Probably just going to play 41 here. PNLR is actually kind of meh. Yeah, that seems good. What is the, what do you mean the stream contract ends with the next MPL? Like, and also the funny thing is, like, people like me or, like, you know, just, I don't know, regular regular Magic Online, Magic, magic streamers, right, that, that do it every day. Kenji, like, even Kenji, right? Like, like we do it because we like streaming and because we like entertaining and we like doing that. We like all the aspects of it. Like, we like playing the games. We like interacting. Like, all the things, right? So, it's interesting to me um, that, like, you're just going to throw these, like, 32 Magic pros into streaming when, like, they could just be terrible at it. Like, just because you play Magic doesn't mean you're good at streaming. Doesn't mean you're good at entertaining or multitasking or or any of these things. You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, one is not... They're, they're not... They don't really, like... They're not... They're, one does not beget the other. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? So is Wizards just not paying anyone for the next for the next iteration? Is there just going to be no no professional MPL streamers? I mean, I'm hundred percent just blocking this guy. I'm not going to lose a card. Right, they're knowledgeable but super boring and not entertainers. That's the thing. Like, I'll, I'll like watch a streamer and like I'm not gonna say any names because I I mean they're like there's, you know, not trying to like shame anybody, but like they'll be silent the entire time while they're just thinking of plays or like, you know, it's just they're not synonymous skills. They're two different, completely different skill sets. And by forcing a bunch of players to have that skill set, it's like, but it doesn't really make any sense. You know what I mean? Like. Hmm. It's either Lingering Souls or Glory Bound Initiate here. I think it's Lingering Souls. I agree with you that maybe if you want to get better at magic watching a boring pro show, it might make sense. But like, why is Wizards paying that? You know, like you know what I mean. Like, Like, it's weird to give $75,000 contracts to someone just to stream your game. Like, that's weird. Especially, like, because it's like, if you don't want to do that, like, if you weren't streaming initially and that's not where you want to be spending your time, like, I mean, some some pros might want to stream, and that's cool. Let them stream. Right? But, like, forcing players to stream, which is an incredibly front-facing, like, you know, it takes, it takes work. Like, it takes a certain skill set to be able to, like, interact with an audience.
This is why we brought in all this removal, because, like, just get out of here with these... These dirty boys. Oh, wow, that was... We won the first game? Oh, we did. We crushed them the first game. Wow, that's insane. That was a... Uh, that was a hell of a 3-0 there. I'm going to open this before we go. But definitely check me out on CoolStuffInc.com. Check me out at ManaTraders.com. And we got a Dagatar, the Adamant. And 125 play points. That's a hell of a lot. Now we're at 531. That's nice. That's nice. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Let me know your thoughts on all these things. And I'll see you guys next time.